So now we'll talk about the types of X-rays available. Two varieties of X-rays are there. One is a soft X-rays and the other one is hard X-rays. If we talk about soft X-rays, X-rays with a wavelength of 4 angstrom or above will be having lesser frequency and hence lesser energy. They are called soft X-rays due to their low penetrating power. They are produced at comparatively low potential difference. You are able to see the typical example of soft X-rays which is used to X-ray or to fetch the inner details of your teeth. Now we will talk about the hard X-rays. The X-rays having low wavelength of the order of 1 angstrom and with high frequency and hence high energy. Their penetrating power is really high, therefore they are called hard X-rays. They are produced at comparatively high potential difference. That is referred to as hard X-rays. So you are able to see the X-rays which is taken on the bones. That is hard X-rays. Moving further, the wavelength of X-rays depends upon the kinetic energy of the electrons producing them. And this kinetic energy depends upon the potential difference between the filament and the target. If we talk about the properties of X-rays, X-rays are electromagnetic waves of very short wavelength. They travel in a straight line with the velocity of light and they are invisible to eyes. You are able to see the X-ray, it is a human body and this is your detector. The X-ray beam is passed through the human body which is detected by the detector. So X-rays undergo reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction and polarization. You are able to see the incoming rays which is diffracted here and this one is reflected here. So this is the film, thin film and this one is called a surface, it is a rough, rough surface and this one is a substrata which one allow X-rays into H. X-rays are not deflected by electric and magnetic field. This indicates that X-rays do not have charged particles. You can see it is not deflector. X-rays ionize the grass through which it pass. 